uh, in this video we will derive the relation between young's modulus and the bulk modulus young's, young's modulus is denoted by the notation e and bulk modulus is denoted by q in the previous video we derived the relation between young's modulus and modulus of rigidity okay so modulus of rigidity is denoted by g so these are all the elastic constants e k and g okay and uh, the shear strain that is gamma these are all the elastic constants so now we are giving relation between one one and another here so here in this case we are derived the relation between e and k e and k here the previous video we derived the relation between e and g e and g that is young's modulus and modulus of rigidity that is just i'll write here e equal to 2 times g 2 times modulus of rigidity into 1 plus mu 1 plus mu okay where mu is the poisson's ratio this is we derived in previous video so today we will uh, derive the relation between e and k okay for that we need to consider a cube this is a cube of all sides are equal and it is subjected to a stress equal stress in all three directions that is sigma in x direction sigma in y direction and sigma in z direction these are all x y and z okay so consider a cube subjected to equal stresses equal stresses sigma in all three directions directions that is x comma y and z direction z directions okay now if this cube is subjected to the stresses in all three directions obviously there will be a strain that is change the deformation and change uh, and the strain will comes into picture so we will write the equation for strains uh, related to each axis x axis y axis and z direction z axis so first we'll write strain in x direction therefore strain in x direction in x direction first we'll write we that is strain in x direction equal to how we'll write here Stra strain equal to stress by e stress by e normal formula that is stress divided by e this is related to x axis so obviously it is x uh, the all the directions sigma only that is stress by e other it will undergo some compressions in the this one here minus why because minus is other it will undergo the compression minus new into uh, if you go to the y that is stress by e this is related to y axis okay next minus now come to the z axis minus new into stress by e stress by e where what is new where new equal to poisson's ratio poisson's ratio and e equal to young's modulus young's modulus okay just take the common factor sigma by e into 1 minus uh, new and new 1 minus 2 new that is new minus new that is 2 new 1 minus 2 new okay this is strain in x direction now we will write the strain how much strain in y direction same no change right strain in y direction that is stress divided by e in y direction minus new into new into stress by e in x direction minus new into 
stress by E in Z direction. Z direction. Same we will get, right? Because the stresses are equal. No changes. This I can write it as same here. Stress by E into 1 minus 2 new. Okay? Strain in Y direction. Similarly, can I write strain in Z direction? Strain in Z direction is same we will get. Stress by E into 1 minus 2 new. 2 new. Okay, we found strain in x direction, strain in y direction, and strain in z direction. Now, what is the volumetric strain? Volumetric total volumetric strain is we can add these three: strain in x plus strain in y and strain in z direction. Volumetric strain. Volumetric strain equal to I'll write this is volumetric strain equal to strain in x plus strain in y plus strain in z direction, right? Strain in z direction. So this plus the, this plus this, I can write it three times, right? This will be equal to three times stress by e, stress by e into one minus two new, one minus two new. This is volumetric strain. Okay, now we need to derive relation between E and K, right? Now we have one quantity E here, but we want K, right? We want bulk, bulk modulus. For that, we will go that we have the formula for bulk modulus. Bulk modulus, we know that bulk modulus equal to K. K equal to volumetric stress divided by volumetric strain. Volumetric stress divided by volumetric strain. Volumetric strain. Okay. K equal to volumetric stress is related to volume. What is the stress? Everywhere it is same. Here sigma, here sigma, here sigma. It is equal stress. So therefore, I can write it volumetric stress is sigma. It is the stress acting on the volume. Related to volume is, it is sigma. If there is variation, then it will be, you need to do different way. But here same. So that's why equal magnitude will write sigma. Divided by volumetric strain, strain volumetric strain. I will write here. Okay. Therefore, here volumetric strain equal to stress by K. Okay. Uh, now call this one as equation 1 and this one as equation 2. Okay. Now equation 1 and 2 are same, right? Volumetric strain, volumetric strain. Can I equate? Yes, I can equate. Equate equation equation 1 and 2 1 and 2 okay i'll equate 3 sigma by e into 1 minus 2 nu equal to sigma by k we have a relation between e and k here right so this sigma this sigma it will cancels okay uh, therefore e equal to e equal to 3 times k 3 times k into 1 minus 2 nu. Okay. This is the final formula for the relation between Young's modulus and the bulk modulus. Okay.